Hey everyone! So as you all know, tomorrow we'll start uh, the 14 day hit challenge. Day 1 will be made accessible to everyone or to the public tomorrow in the afternoon or in the evening. There are already a few videos uploaded. I think until day 8 it's already been uploaded. So day by day, day by day, I'll make the videos accessible to everyone who is watching um, the channel and who is joining in the 14 day hip challenge. So in these 14 days, we have days dedicated for upper body work, lower body work, full body work, uh, core work, and as well days for stretches. So for those days that are dedicated for stretching, um, these are mainly suggestions that you can do for that day. They're very short because um, those days are meant for you to rest and recover since when you do hit workouts, the rest interval is very, very short and you need much uh, longer time to recover for your muscles to fully uh, recover. Right, so hit workouts are meant for cardiovascular endurance training and also meant to increase your strength and power. So over time, as one as you finish one round and then another, your fatigue will build up. So just breathe through that. They are meant to be intense and they are meant to challenge you. But of course, if it gets too much for you to bear, you don't have to finish all four rounds. You can just finish on the third round and then you're done for that day. Um, all the hit workouts have four movements, four rounds. 30 seconds of movement and then 30 seconds of rest. Again, if you need more rest, you can increase the rest to 60 seconds or 90 seconds. So just pause the video. But then again, I suggest that you follow the time that is allotted for movement and as well as for rest. Because of course, you will gain um, cardiovascular endurance, you will be stronger and a lot more powerful. Okay? So these hit, uh, this hit challenge is just meant to supplement or complement your yoga practice if you ever already have a yoga practice because in yoga we don't really get any cardio training, right? We're always doing, um, we're just doing static movements moving from one posture to another and as well we are breathing slowly uh, in yoga. So right here, it's not a rule that you have to with hit workouts, it's not a rule that you have to do shallow breathing or you have to um, breathe fast. It just happens naturally because of how fast the movements are and as well how um, how tiring the movements are for your body. So just remember to just keep breathing, keep moving, and then one round down, it's just 30 seconds. 30 seconds of rest to maximize your rest sit down, walk around, shake your arms, shake your legs, whatever you need to do. I hope you get to complete this 14 days of the challenge and whenever you are working out, feel free to uh, tag me right here on the Facebook page, Yoga Hall. If you're on Instagram, you can also tag me at Risa underscore yoga or if you are quite um, shy to post on your social media, feel free to just send me a message through DM on Instagram or through a message on the Yoga Bahal page. Great! Hope to see you soon and I hope you get to enjoy the workouts no matter how challenging they may get. See you and more power. Bye!